Assalamu alaikum. My name is Othman Abdul Rashid. Welcome again. And today we have something really amazing to share with you. I know in the last couple of ep episodes we've been talking about different things about your business. And I know that inshallah with all these tips and strategies that we've shared, you start to see some increase in revenue in your business. Which brings us to the next thing that is important for you to be able to grow your business is structure. Now what is structure? Now a lot of times business owners are running up and down thinking what is structure, what is structure. Structure is the one thing that can help your business to stand. I want you to think about it this way. Structure is the skeleton of your business. You see, without the skeleton, your flesh will just be lying on the floor. The skeleton is the thing that wraps your, your flesh is wrapped around the skeleton. So your business, the reason why most times you are overwhelmed in your business is because you have not been able to take the time to put structure in your business. And today we'll talk about the three types of structure that you need. I'll run them down um, immediately and then we'll go into one, one by one while I explain what they are to you. The first thing is organizational structure. The second one is management structure and the third one is financial structure. Now let's go into it. What is organizational structure? Organizational structure is just how your business is designed and arranged. You see, you need to understand something. No matter how big your business is, no matter how small your business is, every single business does only three things. And I'll tell you what those things are. The first one is sales and marketing. The second one is operations. And the third one is admin. And what does this mean? Sales and marketing is simply how do you attract customers to, to know, first of all, to know about your business, which is marketing. And then how do you get people to actually buy? And I want to take a little bit of time now to even explain one misconception that a lot of people have. People think sales and marketing is the same thing. It doesn't mean it's not the same thing. Marketing is simply making people aware of your business. Sales is the process by which when they become aware of your business, how do you now get them to eventually remove their ATM and swipe or to do transfer for you? Now, most times I've seen, especially people that run their business on social media, you said, see them running Helter Skelter, saying that they are running ads, running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, this ad, that ad. That is just marketing. If you do not have a correct sales process, no matter how good your marketing is, what will happen? You will not be able to make any sales. Why? Because People are aware of your business, but you don't have a process to convert them. It's the same thing with people that go and put billboards or advertise on, on you know, different television channels. You must have a sales process that when people become aware of your business, then you can then put them through that process to be able to buy from you. So the first thing is in your structure is sales and marketing. The second thing is operations. What is operations? Operations is simply the process that you take to provide the service or to create the product. That is operations. And then what is admin? Admin is all the paperwork at the back end. Invoicing, keeping accounts, sending invoices, putting um, processes in place, HR, and all those things. Now, how you, you, one of the things that is important, this organizational structure is, it will tell you how healthy is your business. And let me quickly give you a quick quiz to take. Ask yourself this question, how healthy is your business? And we'll use these three categories to be able to test. The first one is sales and marketing. Do you have, you have a sales and marketing problem if you are not making enough revenue to sustain your business? A lot of business owners are just running their business like a hobby. What's the difference between running a business and running a hobby? You're running a hobby if your business is not generating enough revenue to cater for the expenses that you are making. So you've got in a shop, you've got in a salesperson, you've, you, you're paying Nepa, you're paying Amak, you're paying different things, but then you're not making enough money, then you have a sales and marketing problem. You have an operational problem if every day you're looking for new customers. Why? Because any customer that comes into your business, they don't enjoy the services that you offer, and so they will never come back. You have an operations problem if the people that are patronizing your business now are not referring you to other people. If you have an operations problem, if the people that come into your business are not raving about the service that they've, they've gotten from you, then it means that you have an operations problem. You have an admin problem. If at the end of the month, you can't tell me 
how many customers you served. You have an admin problem. If at the end of the month you can't tell me how much you generated, I've talked to thousands of business owners and a lot of times when I ask them, what was your revenue last month? They sit down. They don't even know. Why? Because they are not even keeping proper records. You see, what is not measured cannot be changed. What does not change cannot grow. What does not grow remains stagnant and whatever remains stagnant will eventually die. So if you don't want your business to die, you must start to sort out your admin problem. So let's come back to it. I'm sure you've checked it. So how many of those problems do you have in your business? I'm sure maybe most of you have all the problems. So for sales and marketing, what do you do? Once you understand that you have a sales and marketing problem, when you are structuring your business, you put more emphasis in sales and marketing. It doesn't make sense for you to go and hire more people in the back office when nobody is even coming in to buy anything. So you want to structure your business towards sales and marketing. The same thing with operations. If you have an operations problem, it's either you change the people that are creating and delivering the service that you that, that are selling, or you train them to be able to serve better. And then you have an admin problem. If you have an admin problem, all you have to do is to be able to take you know accounts properly, document your processes. There's so many videos out there that can actually help you do that. So that's organizational structure. The second kind of structure is management structure. And what does this mean? You see, one of the biggest um, issues that business owners have, especially the ones that they are forming CEO, is that at the end of the day, they will chop the business money and nobody can keep them accountable. You as the business owner, who is keeping you accountable just the way you are keeping your staff accountable. So in that management structure, there are three tiers that you must look at. You, the visionary, which is the, who is the owner of the business, you are always thinking about how to grow the business, but you need someone to keep you accountable. And that is when you create an advisory board. And when you are creating an, an advisory board, it is advised that you always look for people that have strengths. In the places that you have a weakness going back to organizational structure if you find that you have a sales and marketing problem it means that when you're constituting your advisory board you must look for people that know sales and marketing if you see that you have an operations problem make sure that somebody in your advisory board is very good with operations if you have an admin problem make sure that somebody in your advisory board is good with admin and finance so that they can help you they can advise you so you have your advisory board you have you as a visionary, but then under you, there has to be somebody called the integrator. What does the integrator do? The integrator simply puts all the sales and marketing, operations and admin, and helps them to work seamlessly. And then the third structure that you must think about is financial structure. And this is the one that a lot of business owners falter. One thing that you must do is you must always document every single thing that goes into your business. Any money that comes in, any money that goes out, must have a document that supports it. So the money that comes in must have like a payment receipt or something. Money that goes out, there has to be like an approval or a voucher. The best way for you to do this is right now, today, make sure that, and this is where a lot of business owners struggle. They are using their own personal account. Today, they will chop massa with the business money Tomorrow, they will use it to sell, to buy things. That's not what you need to do. You need to create a specific account that is for that business. And then you place yourself on a salary. Now, which is where the interesting thing comes. If your business cannot even pay you a salary, it means that you are running a hobby. It means that you have a sales and marketing problem. And you must do your best to increase your sales. We've talked about that, how you can increase your sales in the past. So these three structures are the things that you I want you to to really look at your organizational structure, your management structure, and your financial structure. Once you create that account and you track every inflow that comes is written down, you can either use a pen and paper or you can use an Excel sheet. Document all the revenue that comes in with the different places that those revenue are coming in from, which is the different products or services you, you, you provide. And then all the expenses that come in, you create you know, an Excel sheet that also states we use this for diesel, this for transport, this for phone. So that what you do is that month after month, sit down, make a cup of tea and be looking at your numbers and be asking yourself, am I really serious with the business that I'm doing? Inshallah, I know that if you're able to put these three structures in place, you will see tremendous growth in your business.
My name is Othman Abdrashid and I hope I've been able to add value to you today. Asalaamu Alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak